Determining the longest time that a software component can take to execute on a microprocessor is a major problem in the development of real-time embedded systems in both the aerospace and automotive industries. This is known as the worst-case execution time problem. Without accurate bounds on the worst-case execution time, intermittent timing failures caused by software exceeding its execution time budget can lead to operational problems, reliability issues, and in some cases, catastrophic consequences. Previously, there were two main approaches to worst-case execution time estimation, end-to-end -end measurement and static analysis. End-to-end -end measurement inserts profiling code into the software. During testing, this profiling code records the end-to-end -end execution time whenever the software runs. The problem with this approach is that it often underestimates the worst-case execution time. The reason for this is that it is very difficult to be sure that testing has found the longest path through the code combined with the worst-case timing behaviour of hardware acceleration features. By contrast, static analysis methods analyse the compiled code and compute the worst-case execution time using a model of the timing behaviour of the processor. This is done without actually running the code on the processor itself. The problem with this approach is that the computed worst-case execution time depends on the accuracy of the timing model of the processor and its hardware acceleration features. As processor technology advances, static timing analysis becomes more complex, expensive and in many cases unfeasible to do. So for complex systems, neither approach is satisfactory. To address the problems with static and measurement-based approaches, researchers in the Real-Time Systems Group here at the University of York developed a hybrid approach that combines static analysis of the structure of the source code with timing measurements taken during testing, which record the execution time of short subpaths through the program. This approach recognises that the best possible model of an advanced microprocessor is the microprocessor itself. It therefore uses online testing to measure the execution time of short subpaths in the code. By contrast, offline static analysis is the best way to determine the overall structure of the code and the path through it. So path analysis is used to build up a precise model of the overall code structure and to determine which combinations of subpaths are possible. Finally, the measurement and path analysis information are combined to compute the worst case execution time in a way that accurately captures the variation on individual paths. In 2004, we set up a spin-out company called Rapita Systems to commercialise this research. The commercial worst case execution time analysis tool is called RapidTime. One of our first major customers for RapidTime was BAE Systems. They used it on the Hawk Advanced Jet Trainer project in 2006. Using rapid time, BAE identified that just 1% of hundreds of thousands of lines of code contributed nearly 30% of the overall worst case execution time. By focusing optimization efforts on this 1% of the code, we were able to reduce the overall worst case execution time by 23%. This created headroom for new functionality to be added to the system without the need for a costly hardware upgrade. Using rapid time, BAE identified that just 1% of hundreds of thousands of lines of code contributed nearly 30% of the overall worst case execution time. As a result, we received a BAE Chairman's Award for Innovation. Since 2006, rapid time has been used on major aerospace and automotive projects in the UK, Europe, USA, Brazil, India, China, as well as projects with the European Space Agency. It provides a cost-effective means of targeting software optimization so that new functionality can be added to existing systems without the need for expensive hardware upgrades. RapidTime is also portable across a wide range of different microprocessors, which means that companies can use the same technology on a variety of projects without the need for retraining or multiple different solutions. The benefits brought by RapidTime have led to its adoption by a wide range of companies in the aerospace and automotive sectors. In recent years, Rapita Systems has gone from strength to strength. We have moved to larger offices near the university 
and recruited a significant number of graduates and postgraduates from the University of York. In the next five to ten years, complex multi-core and many-core systems will present an extreme challenge in terms of the difficulty involved in obtaining tight worst-case execution time estimates. The Real-Time Systems Group and Rapita Systems are currently collaborating via an EU project on a promising approach to meet this challenge using probabilistic timing analysis techniques.